introduce yourself? Well, my name is Ibrahim Toure. I'm a world citizen of uh, American, American citizenship, uh, African parents, civil engineer, and I've been practicing for the past decade in water resource engineering in America. And I recently set up a consulting firm in Africa to bring some of that knowledge to uh, water resources related problem in the, the African continent. Well, and today is a very exciting day for you. Yes, indeed, uh, graduation day, because my relationship with UNESCO RHC started with a short course that ignited my curiosity and turned into a full enrollment in the MSc program and uh, that I would qualify as connecting dots and putting uh, crossing T's and uh, dots on I's. And today is the combination of that effort and commitment to, uh, to end what I would call part one, I hope, of a relationship with IHE. Graduation as an MSc in uh, hydroinformatics. And what was your research topic about? I was uh, exploring uh, uh, open source web-based uh, spatial decision support system architectures for uh, river basin management. Mm -hmm. uh, primarily because uh, uh, developing countries have a, a lot of issues with uh, data and they're resource poor. So any uh, freely available resources that might enable better decision making was a subject of interest of mine. Mm -hmm. So did you have any particular uh, country or situation or in mind when you were doing this research? Yes, I had in mind uh, the whole region where my parents are originally from, the West African uh, region, because there are three major uh, uh, river basins that are there. And it's also the part of Africa where the climate change has, the, has sort of a very unpredictable impact. So for cultural and uh, scientific uh, reasons, I chose to look at that area in particular, yes. Mm -hmm. So who is going to benefit from your research? Well, hopefully uh, any uh, knowledge that is brought to the field of managing water resources well in that part of the world will contribute to economic uh, prosperity, mm -hmm. economic growth, and uh, cooperation between the peoples of the region because 90% uh, of the basins in Africa are transboundary. So mm -hmm. instrument of cooperation, uh, economic, uh, fostering economic growth, basically. And of course, uh, through optimal management of the uh, small, uh, the, the scarce, scarce assets that are that exist in the region. So it's a challenge that is very interesting and that could potentially yield benefit to millions of people. Mm -hmm. So now that you finished your MSc, what uh, are the next plans? Well, uh, as you heard me say, phase one before was uh, getting this uh, uh, sort of uh, mark of appreciation from this high institute. Now I want to. Uh, try to connect these African basins to IHE via collaboration, the potential for maybe younger brothers and sisters uh, to come and do some work on their basin with the help of the, of the capacity of this institute, and also foster better knowledge and better decisions as far as energy, anything related to water is concerned in the whole part of Africa that is knowing a very a rapid growth but still is one of the poorest regions in the world. Mm -hmm. So you will be back to also welcome some of the new students uh, who will arrive shortly, I think, uh, later this year. Do you have anything to say to them uh, based on your experience here, the 18 months you've spent in Delft? Well, yes, I would say uh, uh, enjoy the ride and create relationships for the future, not only with the IHE staff, but with your uh, fellow classmates that come from diverse origins and have all a piece of knowledge to bring to the pie. That's what I would basically say to them and uh, to cherish the moment, obviously, because what they're gaining here in knowledge will benefit wherever they come from and eventually maybe the whole planet. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you.